Yeah. No, man, as I said, one of the biggest reasons why startups fail is cash, like lack of cash flow. Um, and it really hurts, especially when you have the product market fit, but you just can't deliver. I think that's, that's where it hurts most. Uh, or you don't have enough runway to get to product market fit. Um, so I think that's the obvious reason. I think the other, ob- like, not so obvious reason may be, I think there's so many people out there who, because funding is a really great way of de-risking uh, for a founder, right? Um, and I think it's it's just so important to have, like, the, an ecosystem that encourages entrepreneurs or at least not eliminate the risk, but enables entrepreneurs to take that jump and actually take that risk, that calculated risk with some funding uh, behind them. Um, And yeah, so I think that's super important because I think we have brilliant minds across Africa, people who can solve great problems, but entrepreneurship is difficult. And it just like, when you have that like support ecosystem, it makes a big difference. the other one obviously would be because like I'd say early stage funding is the R&D money for the world and in this case for Africa. <laughs> um, our governments are not spending enough on R&D um, and so I think that's where the VC space is. We, we need that innovation. We need that like money to experiment, to fail to, to, and to build like amazing solutions for our continent. We need that um, money to to really tackle the things that, uh, the infrastructural problems that are not being solved. Like, um, I, I think that's even why I got into early stage funding. I'm just too impatient to wait for um, government or in, in national institutions to, 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 to drive that fund. I think there's still a place for them. I'm not saying that there's no place for, for that change, but I see early stage funding as a big catalyst there. Mm. 